It's all an art. It's the art of fiberglass. It's the art of fabrication. The propping is just so spot on. You know, I would soak in every single detail and just be amazed and enjoy the moment. It's always fun just to, to get to see it uh, kind of come to life slowly. I mean, you know, you start out with just a block of foam and, you know, you take it to something that's fully painted and sculpted. Again, to see the process, I think, was the most exciting thing. The head was modeled in uh, uh, modeling software. All the timbers were just cut as cylinders on the wire table. We started shaping the foam around the steel. After that, assembled it in the shop and carved the foam around it. I mean, we used two and a quarter tons, you know, of epoxy on that thing. And we used a product by Smooth On, which is a sculpting epoxy. We used texture stamps for that, and then a lot of hand tooling. Once we get into paint, you know, it's just primed and painted, and then everything's clear coated. You know, it's not one person just doing the sculpting, one person just doing the painting. Everybody's doing the painting and sculpting. I mean, one of the biggest issues is just the scale of it, and how that's going to look in the finished space versus all in pieces in the shop. Working with the Bush Gardens people was probably the, the nicest aspect of it. We had a lot of fun working with the artists at the Weber Group. You could tell just really cared about, about what they're making and what they're producing. And it's just impressive. It strikes you immediately. You see this thing and you walk under it, just like, wow, this is going to be awesome. You see that whole feel of kind of being in that time period.